Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a photo gallery or photo galleries on your WordPress website using a great plugin called Invira Gallery. And using this plugin within these galleries, we can also link out to your images on Fine Art America in order to sell prints of them. So basically, we're going to create a print a photo and print gallery on your WordPress website using this great plugin. Now, here's an example of how it looks on my website. So this is my black and white photos gallery page. And if we scroll down, here is my gallery. And you'll notice that under each image, under the title is a buy a print text, bit of, bit of text there. And if we hover over that text, it's a hyperlink. And now I've got it set first to go to a product page using WooCommerce. This is how I've got mine set up because I offer a range that I will sell directly myself, prints and canvases. Otherwise, they can scroll down and go to a hyperlink which takes them on to uh, my Fine Art America page. Now, this is not the actual Fine Art America page, but my personal Pixels page. And I've talked about this in previous videos. If you have the paid version of Fine Art America, you get this. It's your own personal uh, Fine Art America website that shows all your images only and no one else's. So this is the place to link to if you have it. Uh, so basically you'll see that if we go back here, this image is for sale here and if you if the user clicks it takes them straight to the product page on on the Fine Art America or the personal site where they can then have other options to purchase this image so it's very simple you're not taking people to a generic page where they've got to search again you've got to keep it really really super simple so from there takes them straight there to here nice and easy no searching around. Now, although I've set up a WooCommerce page for this to sell myself, you don't have to do that. You can, let's go back here. You can make this bit of text hyperlink directly to the product page on Fine Art America, quite simply. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now what's really great about Envira Gallery, you can also create these beautiful light boxes and full screen slideshows of your images. There's a variety of different formats. This is the one I've decided to use. I really like it. You can run it as a slideshow like this so they can sit back and watch it full screen or you can scroll through them individually. Uh, down here you can get the social sharing buttons so you can choose which ones you want to activate and if someone clicks this they can then share your whole gallery to their own Facebook page now that's really really good obviously if you want people to share your stuff and spread the word there you go so I could actually share that directly from here using one of these links I can share it to Pinterest to LinkedIn or even send it somewhere an email so that's really really useful but what you can also see here, if we can go full screen, again, I've got my buyer print link up here. So at any point when someone's going through your slideshow and they're really wowed by one of your images on the big screen, then they can click whichever one you choose and go to that hyperlink that you've chosen. In my case, it goes to the first of the WooCommerce product page, as I said, or you can set it to go directly to your Fine Art America page. So this is a great plugin. So now I'll show you how to set it up. So this is the Invira Gallery uh, already installed in my WordPress dashboard. As I said, it's a plugin. So you go down to plugins and you install it there. Now uh, I am an affiliate of Invira, so down in the description you will find my affiliate link to the Invira website where you can look at the options and purchase this.
plugin. There is a free basic version, so you can install that first if you want to try it out. But to get many of these features like the full screen supersize light, sh light boxes, full screen slideshows, um, and other features which I'll show you in a minute, you need at least the pro version. So if we come here to the add-ons section, this is comes with the pro version. When you've got the pro version, then you get all these extra add-ons, which you can install or not. So it's quite useful because you don't, you don't necessarily want them all. And you can choose which ones you want to install and which ones you want to activate. So you've got things like this. You can have audio add-ons and things like this. Now, I don't want them all. Uh, deep linking, that's definitely one I would put on because what that does is it creates a unique URL for each image in your gallery. So when you supersize the image, that image has its own URL. Now that's really good for SEO because it means that the search engines will also index your individual images as well as your full gallery. So that's really good, definitely worth having. Um, defaults is good. So when you set up a gallery, and you configure that gallery the way you want it, you can make that a default. And then e each time you set up a new gallery, just use the default and you don't have to do all that again. So that's really, really useful. OK, I won't, we won't go too much into all of this, but uh, the main ones I'm going to show you that I use and what's needed, a full screen add on that's useful. Uh, gallery themes. So you've got all these different themes that you can choose from. That would the one you just saw was the theme I chose. If you want to showcase your Instagram photos through it, you can. You can install that. You can connect it to Lightroom. So there's a Lightroom add-on, so you can import directly from Lightroom. NextGen is their uh, sister gallery. So if you have one of those, you can import it. Um, main thing, let's go down here. The other things I want to show you. Slideshow, that's good. That's important. Protection, so right-click protection. That's really useful. So uh, basically what you can do is configure it. If someone tries to right click and save your image, it pops up with a little message warning that this image is copyrighted and they cannot do that. Uh, social add-ons, so these are the social links you just saw. Tags, so creating tags for, your, for each of your images, for example. Now the WooCommerce add-on, I don't use it myself because I, I prefer to create that button which takes them directly to the WooCommerce page. But you can configure a WooCommerce add-on which will integrate the into your full screen image and even on your small images that they can actually make a purchase there and then without going to your WooCommerce page. So that's a really useful feature if you want to use it. With this WooCommerce add-on, you can also set it to automatically create a WooCommerce product for each image as you upload and add it to your gallery. I won't go too much into that, but just so you know the features there if you want to use it and try it out. Okay, so these are all of the different add-ons that you can put within the gallery. So it's really, really, really useful. So let's go down here to gallery. So you've got here to add a new gallery, which you can do anytime. Or here, if you go to here, these are all the galleries that you've created already. So you come here, for example, you can add a new gallery from here, or you can add it from down there. I've got one started already, which I'm going to show you. So here we go. Let's go to Bournemouth Beach Gallery. I've got one image in there already to show you how we will configure this. So to add images into the gallery, you just simply come here, select file from other sources, which takes you to your media. If you've got the image already in your media gallery, you can add it from there. Otherwise, you can upload it and then insert it into the gallery. And then it appears like this. Come to the edit button and this opens up the metadata for that image. So here you can add your title, which you just saw, and here you can add a caption. Now here you see that you've got these options for some HTML and in particular, you've got this link option. That's what you need in order to set that buyer print link on each image. So what I tend to do is just have a simple title and then down here, I use the caption to set the link. Down here, you've got your alt text, URL, and here you can add your tags. 
So here's where you want to set the link. So for this image, for example, what you do then is go to your uh, pixel site. So this is my ianmiddleton.pixels.com. So this is my Fine Art America personal website. This is the one you want to link to, not the Fine Art America profile, because then people can go on and see all your other Im other images from other artists, which you don't want. You want them to, to look only at yours and buy yours only. So come to this here and navigate to the image, the particular image that you want to sell. OK, don't take them to a generic page where they have to search again. Take them directly to the image itself. Make it super easy. So I'm going to come down here. Here's my Bournemouth Gallery. And here is my image. So I'm going to navigate to that image. So that's the exact image there. And then I'm going to come up here, highlight and copy that URL. And then come back to my gallery here and click link. Paste that URL in here and then add some link text, buy a print, whatever you want to do, I use buy a print. And if you're going to take them away from your own website, make that open in a new tab. So that way uh, they go to the product page, but they don't lose your website. So if they decide after a while, mm, I want to go back and look at more on your other site, they can do that. It's still there. So we add that link. There you go. Now you see it's automatically created the HTML for you. You don't have to do it yourself. Come down here, save the meta, and then close it. Uh, save as a draft or publish when it's ready, for example. And up here, you can view the gallery. So let's view the gallery. It's just one image in it at the moment, but just to give you an idea. Now here we've got the image. Now if they click on the buy a print in the new tab, it takes them directly to the product page where they can choose which product they want to buy. If they want to buy a canvas frame print, whatever. And notice in the tabs they can still go back to your gallery. If they full screen it, now this is a slightly different um, option as well you've got for the full screen gallery. So there are various options. Again, there's a a print button which takes them directly to that page. Now from here they can if they want to go on and look at other images but as I say the benefits of taking them to your personal pixel site is that they're only going to see your images and no one else's so they can continue to navigate through your Fine Art America gallery here or they can go back to looking at the galleries here. Now uh, publish this for example now it creates its own gallery once you've published it so you can see now now I've published that gallery if I right click and open that in a new gallery it's created already a URL and a gallery page there so you can use this one if you want to or if like me you've created let's go back I'll show you the example um, for my black and white gallery, which is already complete. So here's my black and white gallery. And that black and white gallery is complete. So when you've got a finished gallery, you've got this bit of short code here. So you can highlight this short code. And then if you want to create a custom web page for that gallery, which I have done, you come to your custom page. So let's find my black and white gallery. Here it is open it. I'm using Elementor. Elementor, yeah, again, I'll put a link to Elementor down here, but this is the best page builder for WordPress. I highly recommend it. So here I've got my custom gallery, custom, uh, custom page for the gallery, which I've created with all my text. And now if you come down here, you see I've pasted the short code into here. So that's how I'm showing it here. So rather than using the, the Invera page, you can actually grab that short code, create your own custom web page and insert the short code into that page. Now, if you go to your widgets, you just search for short code. It's a simple widget which you drag across here and then you just simply paste that in. There it is. Now I'm not going to do that again because it's there already. 
and now you can see there we go it's there automatically and as you saw already that gallery is now embedded into my custom page nice and simple if I ever want to change this gallery all I need to do is go back to my gallery within Invira just come back to the gallery edit that gallery I can add new photos to that gallery anytime and they'll automatically be shown on my custom page if I want to change the look configuration of that gallery at any time I can do that so down here these are all the things all the extra add-ons that I've got now so I can come down here I can change my lightbox theme I can ch choose to show title and caption or just one of the others uh, I can you know basically all of the features that you've got that I can change at any time I can add take something away this this is the bit you want to check enable unlimited HTML on the caption so you see now I've got that added there that is what gives me the HTML here option if you haven't got that checked now that's why I say you need the pro version for this if you don't have the pro version you won't get that option I don't think but that will enable the HTML on the caption which will enable you to create that HTML and add that hyperlink directly to your Fine Art America page so it's that simple okay I hope you found this useful and if you did please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel if you're new and as I say head down to the description for the uh, affiliate link to um, Envira and also Elementor too okay so thanks for watching bye bye